Okie dokie. Kim Kardashian is under fire for saying coronavirus is giving planet a needed break. Okay, before I get into quite possibly the biggest contender for Tweedledee the Wonder Dummy, Kim Kardashian, I'd like to point out if you'd like to see me do these videos live, you can follow me on Twitch, second uh, link in the description below. Uh, I also do some videos on BitChute. These are usually ones that are a little too spicy, a little too controversial for YouTube. In fact, I'm going to be doing one there today. And then finally, if you'd like to keep this channel alive, blah, 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 Patreon link. I do do Patreon exclusive videos and Patreon exclusive streams. All right. Kim Kardashian is under fire. for saying the coronavirus is giving the planet a needed break. Why is anyone taking what this woman says seriously? This is what this woman is known for. And possibly this. She's not a singer. She's not an actress. She's not smart. She's not a scientist, political major. She's not anything. She's just Kim Kardashian, wife of Kanye. That's it. Kim Kardashian has come under fire for saying she believes the global coronavirus pandemic uh, came about because the planet needed a break. How much you want to bet Kim Kardashian couldn't even make a bowl of soup? The reality TV star says uh, she views the virus, which has killed more than 1 million people, infected 35 million people around the world as a reset. Okay. By the way, those that's still an extremely low death rate. One out of 35. I am the type of person that respects the process, that respects what's going on in the world. Maybe our planet needed a break. Maybe we all needed a break. Maybe this was the reset. I try to look at it this, that way. Yeah, pretty easy when you live in a fucking palace. But for the rest of us, it wasn't a break and it wasn't a reset. Um, The Skims owner, I have no idea what the fuck that is, uh, received a hail of social media abuse for her... <laughs> it's not abuse, it's people calling her an idiot! That's not... You, you can't get abused in the comment section! Okay? Words don't hurt. Abuse happens if somebody came up to her, grabbed her by the ponytail, and started slapping her in the face. Says the woman who has a carbon footprint the size of Texas with a swollen panhandle and Oklahoma. Uh, give me a break. Oh, my God, that's so ignorant. It's not even worth it. Uh, no smarter than Kanye Mess, S-M-D-H. Yet none of the Kardashians got sick. The universe is a fickle thing. Um, I don't see how these even rise to verbally abusive. Kanye had it way at the beginning when nobody really knew what was going on. Oh, uh, Kardashian also de detailed nursing sick husband, Kanye West, when he contracted the virus back in March. Uh, it was so scary and unknown. I had my four babies and no one else in the house to help. I had to go and change his sheets, help him get in and out of bed. He wasn't feeling good. Changing his sheets with a glove and a face shield was a really scary time. West 43 spoke about his brush with COVID-19 in an interview. Chills, shaking in the bed, taking hot showers, looking at videos, telling me what I'm supposed to do to get over it. I remember someone had told me Drake and the coronavirus, and my response was, Drake can't be sicker than me. Over the weekend, the rapper sent a tweet of support to Donald Trump after the president and first lady were diagnosed with covid Um, and basically it's just said everybody needs to be civil. Um, and that's it. Is it just me or is Yahoo getting really weird with how they end stories? Um, okay. So again, 
Why is anyone taking what this woman says seriously? I don't give a shit what Kim Kardashian's opinions of anything are. She got famous for this. And this. Not because she has anything particularly interesting going on between her two fucking ears. Can we all, if this is a reset, if, if, if she is correct, and the virus is a reset, can it please, before it leaves us, take, take fucking celebrity worship culture along with it? <laughs> 